right to type. Today's top story, JB. 2019 summer bombs at the box office so far. Men in Black is the latest film to fall victim to audience apathy. It, and it very much deserves its fate, along with Dark Phoenix, Shaft, and Godzilla King of Monsters. What's with the review already? <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, look. Who I'll, wrote this copy? Come uh, on. Hey, we, gonna re we can review these movies. They we're going to, we're going to, look. Half of the movies do suck. I'm just <laughs> saying. I'm, I I, look, I'm yeah. just talking about, this is strictly box office numbers. Yeah. As opposed to budget. No. Oh. Budget. Yeah. Marketing. And how much they brought in. Yeah, I believe you make that uh, Men in Black only brought in $32 million over the weekend, which mm -hmm. of the four movies is the lowest by far. Mm -hmm. And the first movie did come out like 96. So that's like 97. Bad. 97. So that's bad. With today's as how expensive it is, you know, that's, that's not oh, good. Yeah, I know it's bad. But uh, make a good movie and people will go see it. Damn, that's now true. I'm reviewing stuff. Godzilla <laughs> was awful. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, hey, yeah. <laughs> Avengers Endgame came within just 50 million of top toppling Avatar's domestic box office record. Endgame sits at 2,742 mm -hmm. billion global gross. Mm -hmm. With Avatar's record, record wait, hold okay. on, <laughs> hold on, we have, right. we yeah, I see, that I see that. Yeah, it's two billion seven hundred and forty-two million. Yeah, I put the billion. Yeah, I no. You said it right. You said it right. Like, right. It's like the top of there. It's a title. Yeah, title. yeah I should have put the billion right after. You shouldn't even put billion. Well, because it's the, the the numbers that look how close to seven seven hundred forty two million as opposed to seven hundred eighty seven of the million. Yeah, but it but makes two no million. sense how it's up there. <laughs> it's what I'm saying. All right, just oh, say that's it all right. Though. You know what? It's a, <laughs> say it the right way. So, it. so it's million instead of billion, right? No, no it's, billion. it's billion. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Two, I say, two, I'm confused. We <laughs> out here, y'all. Endgame sits at two billion seven hundred forty-two million, and Avatar oh. sits at two billion seven hundred eighty-seven million. Gotcha. Yes. Okay. Now the people, now the good people over at Marvel Studios are re-releasing Endgame with additional scenes. Apparently, they really want that record. They're gonna get it. They're gonna get <laughs> I'm it. gonna pay again. Especially, <laughs> yeah, especially when you look at it. Um, if I can remember correctly, Avatar was released in December, and it ran for six it months. Ran for so, of that six months that, that it was that running, you know, there's nothing that opens in January, February, you know, maybe March, April. You get a couple round coms. Mm -hmm. It didn't really have anything where. Endgame opened in April, and, and now against, all the summer blockbusters are coming yeah. out. So they're just pulling them off the screens right now because it did have almost three weeks where it was the only movie like nobody wanted to open up against the Avengers. Yeah, I'm sure there was because so, they were the yeah. Avengers. No, no one opened. They were like, "We'll wait," <laughs> and then nobody make money until so John Wick. I'm sure. No, they didn't. They why? Why, why lose all the? <laughs> All the money. Like, you're going to go see it, and you're not going to go see Endgame because you're one of those indie people. Yeah. David Ortiz, the former Big Poppy. Red Sox slugger, was not the intended target of the shooting in the Dominican Republic oh, that, that seriously wounded him. You know, I'm glad we're talking about the story now and not when it first came out because it was a lot of. <laughs> there was, was a lot, lot of. of who, there was a lot of what? Yeah, it was like they shot Big Poppy. What was it? An art? Was it a robbery? Yeah. And it was in the. And it was happening in the DR. Where he's like almost like he got God status in the yeah, DR. You know what I'm saying? Presidential. Yeah, so he's like that. So um, go ahead. Well, continue. apparently the shooting had been ordered by a man associated with a Mexican drug cartel. It's always a Mexican <laughs> drug cartel. <laughs> who suspect who suspected his cousin had betrayed him and who ordered the cousin killed in an operation. This sounds like a good movie. That went sideways because Ortiz and the target were sitting together and wore similar outfits. So what, they were both wearing Ortiz's jersey. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're not, it's not even, they were wearing different stuff. Right here. Yeah, you well, shoot everybody at the time. Bop, bop, bop. I heard that the guy who uh, took the shots was called the surgeon. That's his name on the street. Is it? I, I, I heard he he watched this one. Yeah, this was <laughs> never rub another man's rhubarb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I mean, I like Big Poppy. I hate the Red Sox, but I do like Big Poppy. I do go go. Yeah, why? Well, yeah. That's why. I and I did like, the Go get the picnic basket. Let's go get the picnic basket. 
I was doing my duty. <laughs> this week's review, Godzilla, King of Monsters, God. member of the Cryptopia Zoology Agency, Monarch, face off against a battery of God-sized monsters, including the mighty Godzilla, who collides with Mothra, Rodan, and his ultimate nemesis, the three-headed King uh, Ghidorah. Ghidorah. When these ancient super species thought to be mere myth rise again and they all vie, we all see, <laughs> we, we, we know, it's, 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 a, it's leaving humanity in the very existence hanging in the balance. Okay, now I'm sorry I kind of like motor mouth through the rest of that because I I know I really, really wanted to enjoy it. I kind of heard Ralphie's, but Ralphie always has a slant. JB, I know you're a fan. I'm a fan, and I did not like that movie. You didn't like it? I did not like it at all. It Was it the pacing, or was it just... It, it was too long. Yeah, it was it, too it, long. It the pacing wasn't good. It, yes, it definitely it, could you. Like I'm no spoilers whatsoever. No, I'm spoiling. But no, just like <laughs> trash. Don't go see it. There's look, there's there, there's a way in the movie, and I always use like like John Wick for example, yeah. because John Wick chapter through the pacing was off the charts. It was like it, it didn't they let moved you, from set piece to set piece. And they you, didn't let, it you, didn't let you breathe, but they they kept you engrossed. Yeah. And and then you're talking about with Avengers Endgame that was over three hours, but you know what? I wanted more. When that movie was so, over. when the extra scenes come out, guess what I'm gonna do? <laughs> and there's a post credit scene, but this one just seemed to it seemed to drag in the wrong places. And I agree. Yeah, and heard all the dialogue scenes was garbage, but all the action scenes drag, it drag, drag, yeah. it drag. The, every, but you know, you got that precocious Millie Bobby Brown. I, she's she's so about to leave. Great. She's, she's about to leave so her co stars in the dust. Like I know. when they say the cast of Stranger Things, they're like, "Where's Millie Bobby Brown?" That's all they're yeah. doing because the mother boys, and then they're going through that awkward phase where all of them are starting to be uh, like long ropes and stuff. Yeah, yeah I, 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 on this movie, I have to take a line from Richard Pryor. You ask me, what is it about? About two and a half hours too long. <laughs> That's what it's about. Nice. Yeah, you know what? I can't. I can't make that sing any better. Uh, Ralphie D recommends always be my maybe. Childhood sweethearts have a falling out and don't speak for 15 years. You know, I can scroll that up a little bit for me. <laughs> Only reconnecting as adults when Sasha runs into Marcus in San Francisco. Although the old sparks are still there, the couple live in different worlds. This movie was good. I liked it a lot. Yeah. I keep passing it up on that. I always see Watch it. it to see it. Okay. I, just by the title alone. I always I thought that the movie was like you know how, you know like how like two people like they're friends or maybe they dated and they're like mm -hmm. hey you go through life I'll go through life if we're both not married and children by the time we're thirty five we'll get married together because always be my maybe was like hey you're always gonna be maybe me and you want to make this happen yeah there's a series I of mishaps and all that kind of yeah, stuff yeah. so it, if you've lived a life and you've had they that all type of relationship with the children don't so. get this. Yeah. <laughs> And it didn't work out for me. Yeah. All you got to do is wait till they're about 55. That's when I'm up. 55 is a new 35. Right now, we're in our 20s. That's what I hear. <laughs> I'm telling you. The full fin is double nickels. <laughs> Yikes! I got you. <laughs> I don't know that. I just. Yeah. No, that's about right. I think. No. I don't know. I, 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 my math is off. Always. Yeah. Well, mine definitely. Well, I'm Ralphie D. That, that was a whole bunch of nonsense that meant nothing to anybody <laughs> except you and me. I'm Ralphie D, and that's news to me. I'm Kuwata Kurt. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. And we'd like to hear what you think. Leave us a comment down below and let your opinion be heard. If you like this video, please check out other videos on our channel, like This Weekend and Retro Recast, whenever the guys feel like doing one. <laughs> I'm JB. I'd like to give a shout out to my man AL at Comics Most Wanted. Like him, follow him, subscribe. And this is 252 Pop Fiction, where you hear it first. Ah, uh, uh, Donna, pull yourself together.